Good morning from a beautiful forest in Wales. I did something last night that I've never done before. Car camping. Never purposefully slept in a car before. I've definitely slept in a car before, but not overnight and not as a plan. So what am I doing here? You might ask. Today I'm doing a off-road motorbike practice introduction to off-roading thing. It's a terrible description. No, I'm doing the uh, Train for Trails level 1 with Moto Junkies who were the really cool guys who were like shouting out all of my motorbike videos um, back when I was releasing those and then at the end of it when I released my third one they had put on their social media that they would um, you know let us know if you ever want to do a Train for Trails day with us so I obviously immediately replied and was like if this is serious Absolutely, I don't say no to stuff. <laughs> like, definitely, 100%, I'm doing that. So, yeah, we organised it, sorted it out, I've had this date booked in for a few months now. Yeah, it is quite funny that I've done all the off roading stuff uh, last year and now I'm actually going to learn how to properly do it. So, I think this could be quite a funny experience for me because I know damn well that although I kind of taught myself how to ride off road, like, I was not doing it correctly at all. So, I'm hoping that. After this experience day, I'll then have the confidence to, at some point, get my full bike licence and then go off uh, off-road biking and wild camping and adventuring and stuff, which would be really, really cool. Alright, let's go. I got suited and booted, making educated guesses on how all this equipment fitted together. Most notably being that I should have put those knee guards under my trousers, but I wouldn't know that until lunchtime. I wandered apprehensively outside where the rest of the group and Steph, who I'd been in contact with, was making sure everyone was ready to go. I hey, wasn't. Okay. I don't think I have a helmet. <laughs> oh, oh yes, of course. <laughs> right, have we got people who are here for Train for Trails Level 1 uh, today and Level 2 tomorrow. Um, you're with me and Jack. I felt quite nervous handling this bike for the first time and was quite happy to unceremoniously drop it for our first lesson of the day. We know you're going to ditch your bike, let's learn how to pick it up. Turns out I'm just as unceremonial doing that too. So the others have all just gone off. <laughs> I'm too little for my bike. So we're just getting a seat height adjustment done so that I can actually ride this bike. There we go. Right, give that a go. That's a lot better. I feel like I could actually catch myself. That's it. Much better, right. I was taking out for a quick one-to-one -to, -one to catch up on what I'd missed. Namely, how to approach small inclines, declines and crossing over ruts. This was my first time standing up on the pegs of a bike and manoeuvring. In hindsight, it may have been helpful to know this on my off-road quest last year, but I digress. On your CBF, yeah, did you have road tyres on and obbies? Road, road, did you? Yeah, right, okay. I didn't stand up either, right? <laughs> you, you can do it, you can get away with sitting down, it's just longer term, it's more difficult. I've bounced up in the air, yeah, <laughs> that's been exciting, right? <laughs> I found the bike so powerful compared to my little 125 and it was also more tricky than I thought to change gears standing up. Oh, 
<laughs> but yeah, what, what about going across the rusty bit? Yeah, that was alright. Yeah. yeah. You, look, you look very relaxed on that, actually. <laughs> um, and the, way, you know, the bike is moving around quite a bit underneath you, and you see the suspension working, mm. but your body is actually quite static. Yeah. So it's quite nice. After break, we focused on balance through turns, which I was honestly horrendous at. First or second? First in general. And then went up and down some hills which I was a lot more comfortable with. Want to try and get that left foot down so we've got both brakes on. Okay. You'd be struggling to hold the bike on this sort of slope in this terrain, just on the one brake. Off you go when you're ready. Uh, I've got to pull the clutch in as well. <laughs> This was our first proper obstacle, a narrow gap with a small drop down a dirt hill. Ah, I don't like That's it. Right. <laughs> now, I know it won't be obvious from my YouTube videos, but I've battled many years with a panic disorder, and in this moment it took control. Here, I think, isn't it? Right, don't worry about it. If you, uh feel like you want to have another go at it later, then that's fine. I know it's nerve-wracking suddenly looking like off a drop. <laughs> Over time though, I've adopted the phrase, feel the fear, but do it anyway. After some motivation from Jack, and giving myself a little talking to, I gave it another go. Eddie, This time I coasted through, and of course it wasn't nearly as bad or scary as it feels in your head, and I ended up coming around twice more for good measure. And by the last go, it was good fun. <laughs> And just like that, it was time to head back to base for lunch. Well, we've just stopped for lunch, and yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Um, we are currently learning how to like do all of our balancing up and down hills, slow speed, how to stop down a hill, all that sort of thing, like going over ruts. Um, all stuff that would have been probably quite useful for me to know before I did my trip last year. <laughs> I've had to overcome a few fears already, which is exactly what I'm here for, so I'm super happy about that. And I know that by the end of the day, I'm going to be calling up my boyfriend and telling him that I want to buy an off-road bike. And he's going to be so happy. After lunch, we went through a hill recovery drill, which actually set up another minor panic moment. I cannot thank my two instructors enough for being so patient and understanding through these two points that day. It gave me the confidence to move along and face the next obstacle. That's absolutely fine because we're going to do it from here. Exactly the same thing, we're going to do it from here. So now we're going to do is just a load of handlebar shuffles. It just takes a bit more time. What time is what we've got? Fantastic. So keep your front brake on, touch out, step on the bike. Go with your face down there. At this point, I was also feeling confident enough to hand across my second camera to get some footage of me riding. Jack immediately went above and beyond to get this tracking shot of me going along a rut.
Then came the final obstacle, a steep hill through trees that we would both ascend and descend. My tactic for approaching this one was to study as many people as I could before attempting it myself. It wasn't successful, and I took my first dismount of the day. <laughs> <laughs> because you can either start from here, but my recommendation would be Jack takes a bike around the background to the top. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's it's yeah. Well done, though. I mean, you yeah. nailed this. You nailed it. Okay. All right. I was straight back on trying again, though. Going down a hill this steep absolutely terrified me, especially on loose soil. But I applied what I've been taught and made a slow descent. Duck for the branch. Well done. Not do it again. Next came the incline, and again, I didn't oh succeed gosh. on the first attempt. Nicely oh, done, oh, nearly! <laughs> <laughs> More speed. I had to apply the hill recovery knowledge from before and give it another go. Really committing to the hill instead of backing out. A test of nerves. You need to keep power on. What I think you did is powered on and then powered off. Yep. And that upsets the balance of the bike for us doing. You basically just need to keep it constant. And once you've picked on whatever that level of constant you can be, bottom end, you just sit on it to begin with. So provided you've got momentum, and your speed is fine going round, provided you've got momentum, you can get up it. But just keep it, have trust basically. Just keep it as throttle as it is. And then off you go. Yeah, that's Nicely done! Woo! Hey! <laughs> I'm so unbelievably proud of that clip. I didn't think we'd be tackling anything that steep and it was an incredibly good high to end the day on. After a final quality leader session around the farm, where I also accidentally did a jump, <laughs> we were pulled back into the yard for a debrief. Right, what an interesting day that has been. We started off making the assumption you didn't know what you're doing, really off-road, and we started with a very basic skill set and then built on that through the day. We have a good example, say, Ellie this afternoon. You basically have a certain thing and identify well, what went wrong, what can I try differently. So that hill climb there, Ellie was sitting down to start with, came round the corner by the tree, and then there was a basic bit of kangaroo throttle, which I think threw it, and those wheels went off. You thought about that, how are you going to do it? Um, and you basically came back up on the pegs. Yeah. Did it on the pegs, constant throttle, they did, you got all the work. So through recognising that the plan A didn't work, devise what else is in my toolkit, what can I do, I can try this way, and it worked and it got up, which is absolutely fantastic. So from my point of view, I'm really, really pleased with the day's gone. <sighs> what a great day! Like, it was so much fun. I overcame so many little fears as well, which is always a good day. A good day is when you're breaking your boundaries, going out your comfort zone and pushing yourself. And I certainly did that today. The bike, I'd say I came off the bike, nothing was that dramatic. I kind of slid off the bike a couple of times, but both times I got back on and I did the thing. <sighs> Imagine doing that in real life down a real trail when you're in the middle of nowhere, like, <laughs> But no, it was fucking so cool. 
like oh my god i just want an off-road bike i want to go i want to come back here tomorrow and do the level two but i can't <laughs> ah, thank you so much steph it's been a really really good day i've really really enjoyed it and thank you to the two instructors who were in charge of our group as well both incredible obviously not sponsored or anything like that i imagine they've got like the tiniest channel but i this was gifted to me this day steph very kindly gifted me this day um after watching my yeah youtube series for the other motorbike stuff i did and i would wholeheartedly recommend this course to anyone who fancies getting into off-roading like it was just so much fun and it's really nice as well because like i don't have a full bike license so i can't ride off-road or on trails or anything so coming here to this estate where it's private land you can still ride the bigger bikes and like have a go at proper off-roading without the need to go off and get your full bike license which is great so if you're riding on road on a 125 like i am like i am or was <laughs> then you can still come along and do this day which is really cool as well thank you so much steph thank you so much my tojo keys